So the uh, ACS in general does a wonderful job with all their journals in terms of the uh, submission process to the review. Everything's done very professionally and in a timely manner. My interest in being the JCIM editor was to uh, continue to improve the journal. I mean, the fundamental, I think, goal that we have in the computer aid drug design field is to be able to predict the great accuracy of a potential compound that could be a future drug down the line. Uh, for example, uh, to reach the goal of being able to predict the binding affinity for protein ligand complexes still eluded us, and so there's a lot of exciting new technologies that need to be developed to address this question. One is you have to sample the system thoroughly, so you have to understand all the degrees of freedom associated, say, with a drug molecule binding a receptor. And at the same time, you have to calculate the energy, uh, energetics of those interactions very, very accurately. So anyone in the computer-aided drug discovery area, be it in academic or pharmaceutical industry, should uh, subscribe to the journal. We're interested in papers that make predictions and then back them up with experiment. Everyone's very busy, so a two-page article that really addresses some interesting topic is a big help to sort of rapidly get up to speed in an area that might be interested in. The most important thing is to look at the information for authors. Uh, JCIM has a very strict uh, triage system, and uh, articles that will be triaged are described in detail in this in the notice or information for authors, and I'd encourage everyone to read that. So what excites me about computational chemistry and biology in general is that uh, it's a field that just won the Nobel Prize this year, for example, and it's been growing over the last 20 or 30 years. So it's a wonderful field. It continues to expand. Uh, computer resources continue to expand. Novel algorithms continue to be developed. So the best advice I ever got uh, was from my PhD advisor, Michael Dewar, and he told me just to find science amusing and just have a childlike fascination for science in general and enthusiasm.